Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the code for a problem C that is choose the different ones. Okay, so let's read the problem statement. We have given array A of n integers and array B of m integers and an even integer that is k. Okay, our task is to determine whether it is possible to choose exactly k by two elements from both the arrays. In such a way that among the chosen elements, every integer from 1 to k is included. Okay, let's see example. So in this case, we have these arrays, two arrays, and we have k equal to 6. So we can choose 2, 3, 6 from first array, right? 2, 3, 6. And 1, 4, 5, we can do it from second array. So we have total 6 elements. All the elements are included. And we do, we are not need to find the possible way. We just need to find is it possible or not. That's it. That is our goal. So okay. So let's discuss the approach. How can we solve this? Okay. So just think about like what should be the solution. Solution should be something like that. The both the counts. The like you just need to iterate through i equal to 1 to k right k you just need to iterate in this range 1 to k and then you need to find like if this one is available in this or in this if it is available in both we'll update our counter let it be c1 for first array and c2 for second b and initially these are zeros and zero both are zero so we can update like if it is available in this we'll do c1 plus plus right if it is available in this we'll do c2 plus plus and at the end like suppose if there is a case if this particular ie is not available in any of these then what will happen if it is not available in any one of these then it means like it is not present in any of the array and that means it is not possible hence your answer will be no in that case if it is not returning no in all the iterations of k then what you need to do then you need to check the condition what is that condition that condition this c1 and c2 these both should be greater than or equal to k by 2 you are thinking about this thing it is written like exactly k by 2 right but what i am saying i am saying c1 greater than or equal equal to k by 2 this thing why i am saying this thing and at the same time c2 should also be greater than or equal to k by 2 if that is the case then we can definitely choose uh, k by 2 integers from c1 and k by 2 integers from c2 why because they are available in both the arrays the minimum is this k by 2 and they are available so we can choose any of the integers from any of the array and their total will be k and that is our goal right and let's see how can we like let's try to dry run on one of the examples let it be in this case okay so initially we have i equal to 1 right 1 is present in this no it is present in this so let it be here c2 we'll write c1 and c2 okay in the first array it is not present so c1 will be 1 starting it is still 0 it is 1 when i equal to 2 it is available in first so it will be 1 here then 3 it is available in both so it will be 2 here and 
टू हियर देन फोर फोर इज अवेलेबल ओनली ऑन दी फर्स्ट सो इट विल बी थ्री नाउ फाइव फाइव इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन दिस फर्स्ट वन सो इट विल बी फोर नाउ सिक्स इट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन दिस सो फाइव so if you see like c1 and c2 right these are available the 5 plus 2 5 plus 2 is 5 plus 2 is 6 7 and that is the greater than the requirement then you might be thinking answer should be yes but why not yes because c2 is 2 that is less than k by 2 that means you can't find three integers exactly k by two integers in the second array and this is the reason why you have answer no in this case so let's see one more example so let's take this example third one Not third one, first one. First one is a good example, so we'll take that. So we have i equal to one initially, and here c one and c two. Zero, zero. So i equal to one. That means c two will be updated one. I equal to two. Then it will be updated c one. So one is updated. Then I equal to three. It is available in both. So two here, two here, four. Four is available in second one. So three here, five. Five is available in both. So four here and three here, and then. We have six. Six is available on the first one, so four. So that means C one and C two both are greater than k by two. That's why your answer is yes. So let's see the implementation. Okay, so. so you have you just need to declare solve function that is as usual take the input and you need to have two maps an ordered map mp1 and mp2 then you just need to take the input and store in the vector not vector map mp1 and just increase the count of number of frequency that means if it is greater than 1 greater than or equal to 1 that means it is available in the vector that is the main reason for doing this similarly Doing for another array that is D. Then what we need to do? We just need to declare two counters C1 and C2, and a flag variable. Right? Flag will be zero initially. Why it initially zero? Because we are trying to find out if it is available in any one of the array, any one of the map basically. So if it is available in first, flag will be one. In second, flag will be one, and in case if it is zero, like it is not available in any of the map, that means our answer will be no directly, and we just we need to return it from here. And and if that is not the case, and after all iterations, we need to see this. If C one is greater than or equal to K by two, and C two is greater than or equal to K by two, that means our answer will be yes. Otherwise, it will be no. Simple. Hope you understood this solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you, and keep coding.